who are present everywhere and filling all things, that with your blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse and all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Word, and hear mercy on us. I was a cross, I was a cross, I was a fellow of salvation in us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Word of your mercy. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive for those who trespass against us. And give us a land of temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now
brought the gift of sinners, salvation to the Lord, and the blessing is upon your people. I lay down my sweat, I walk for the Lord who will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For you errors are fixed in me, and your hand raised on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of my wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden. They are heavy on me. My, my roots grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I'm utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desires before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my leg fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and, and stand against me, and my near kin stand far off, and those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil from me speak for me. And they meditate for the sick all the day long. But I'm like a deaf man who do not hear. I'm like a mute who does not open his mouth. I'm like a man who does not hear. And there is no reproof in his mouth. For in you, Lord, I hope. You will hear, O Lord my God, for I said, Let my enemies rejoice over me. Let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boast against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pains continue with me. For I will declare my transgressions, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and I become stronger than I. And those who take me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good, slander me, because I pursue righteousness. And they throw away my love, as though it were a sticking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not depart from me. Keep heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate and passable and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your enemy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to, your, to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed and meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks of unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline the ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul grows near to Hades. I'm counting among those who go down into the pit. I'm like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in the grave, whom you remember no more. But they are removed from your head, they lay me in the lowest pit in dark places in the shadow of death. You wrath rested on me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my purposes far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes were wicked for power. O Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will you 
physician swears them up and acknowledge you, shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your voice be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer will come to you. Why, O Lord, did you reject my soul and, with, and turn away your face from me? I feel any trouble for my youth, but then be exalted. I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They contested me like waters all the day long. They surrounded me at once, removed far from me, they were a friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O oh Lord God, my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes when the wind passes through it. And it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O oh, his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, O oh, his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, hear my prayer, give me my supplication in your truth, as you may in righteousness. Do not enter into judgment of the servant, for no living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground, he caused me to dwell in dark places, as one all dead, and my spirit was anguished to me. My heart was troubled to me. I remember the day of the cold, and I meditate on all your works, I meditate on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speak to your Lord, my spirit pains with me. Turn out your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the grave. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. You would spirit shall guide me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. <clears throat> in your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into the judgment of your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into the judgment of your servant. You could speak, shall God be in the land of the righteous. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and to the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory, glory be to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory, glory be to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Our hope, O oh Lord, glory to you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray. 
Parthenia de Philaxas, et dimisi to cosmo tu fratelli pesteo torte, metestis prostizoin, miti riparcus atizois, et despres vies de sesti truveni tectanatutas psicas imun. Again and again, peace let us pray to the Lord, Reason. 
σοφόν αποστόβων η τρίστη θάμαστος του κυδεύσε εντόξος το σώμα σου το άκραντον θεωτώ και φανήνγητε εισηγήνησαν και τον αγγέλων τα πλήθη η μετάσταση τη συνσεκτό ευθυμούντε ελπίστη εορτάζομαι. Blessed are you, O Lord, these be your statutes. When the host of the angels saw you who were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. Thank you.
lament of the burying men revealed the joy. For you had risen, O Christ our God, bestowing on the world a great mercy. O I'm the mock naked, drinking to my distress, O Lord, to you cry I out. Ceaseless thoughts be crying along, he be come and lost to dwell in the wilderness, outside of the futile world as they are. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, of thou never to the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit, to the power and glory belong, as to the Father and the Son. Let us therefore sing in praise to the Trinity and one to me. Oh, 
Christ, you are he who grants resurrection to all. Let us extol this omnipotent God, the one who rose on the third day, and who smashed the gates of Hades, and who raised from the tomb those who were there from all time, and who was seen by the murmuring women, as so he will, uttering to them first of all the greeting, Rejoice, and the apostles declaring the joy as the only giver of life. Therefore, in faith, the women announced to the apostles the tokens of victory, and Hades groans and death laments, and the world exalts, and all people rejoice together. For you, O Christ, are he who resurrects all. On August 21, we commemorate the holy apostle of Hades. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Gossip, and her children, the Aeolis, of Alpheus and Pistus. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy and save us. Amen. Adore with glory, divine O Virgin, is your most sacred. Into a life will be fountain. 
Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom arise. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be. Restore to me that joy with some 
salvation and uphold with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your way of the ungodly shall turn back to you.
Lord swore to David his truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your throne one from the fruit of your loins. You, the mother of the life he himself, have passed on to immortal life by your most exalted ordination on this day. When the old angels escorted you, our worst principalities, prophets, and the apostles too, Yeah. 
When slandered, we would try to conciliate. We are dumb and dumb as the refuse of the world, the offscouring of all things. I do not write this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have any fathers.
The Bible doesn't say that the devil came to Adam and Eve and told them, eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He didn't do that. According to the Bible, the devil told Eve, did God really say that you, you should not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil? He approaches, approaches them with a question. And that's how the devil is approaching us. That's how the devil is approaching our children, trying to make them question everything and everyone, including themselves. And the world promotes this agenda of the devil of questioning everything and everyone and confusing our children. What are we going to do about that? Are we going to allow, to allow our children to be confused by the world and to end up knowing who, who, not knowing who they are, ending up confused and trying to fill up the emptiness within them with any kind of substances because they feel empty because they don't even know who they are? What are we going to do about that as parents? Are we going to kneel down in humility before Christ and to say, help my child? Are we going to ourselves? Ourselves. and grandparents. Yes, pray. That is a prayer about The Lord is that this kind of demon could be the people of faithless generation, of faithless for how long shall I be with you? Understand once and forever that if you want to be free, if you want to be with God, that's the a Christian life. That's the first step. To take Christian life a lot seriously as adults. Are we adults in Christ or are we still children? through and through the sentences by any doctrine, whatever the world tells us we're going to go after it. But in order to be strong, in order to have stability ourselves, we have to be connected with the immovable one, with the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the only way to be connected with him is to pray. He had to make a decision. The Jews had to make a decision. Do we go back to Egypt to worship the idols and to have a good life, a good easy life, but to be slaves? Or do we go to the promised land and serve the Lord? Joshua said, do whatever you want to do. As for me and my household, I am going to serve the Lord. As grandparents, as parents, we need to make up our mind. Because the reality is, as Senator says, that the days are evil, therefore, within the time, he says, because the days are evil. And the reality is that the days that we are living are different than even 10 or 15 years ago. What the world is trying to push on us is a lot bigger and harder and more confusing than even 10 or 15 years ago. Times are different. We are not in times when we could come to church, you know, and try to be good Christians on Sunday morning and then do what we want to do during the week. Those times are done. I'm sorry. We are not living in a Christian world anymore. 
here in the Midwest, in the U.S., by the grace of God, we are still having some faith. But the waves are coming from east and from west upon us. I serve on the west coast of this continent, and I know what's going, what's going on out there. And that wave from the Pacific and from the Atlantic is coming big time our take over. Sunday, all of them 
went home disappointed because they had only one or two children or none. This is why this year I told the Sunday school teachers, we are not going to ask for Sunday school like before. We'll switch it a little bit. <laughs> if you want Sunday school, show me the children and then we'll organize the classes. According to how many children are registered and committed to coming every Sunday for Sunday school, we're going to form the classes and the teachers. We did everything that we could do. Now, I want to say what you want to do. When it's about education programs for adults, how could we grow if, you know, we just come to church on Sunday morning and we think that that's enough? It is not enough. I'm sorry. I'm here to teach. I'm here to guide. I'm here not only to teach, but if possible, to give life to be a pater. But as they say, you can only leave a horse to the water. If the horse doesn't want to drink, there is nothing you can do. I'm here to do education programs for adults if you want them. I'm going to keep meeting every Wednesday evening starting in September with those who want to learn more about God. Every Wednesday evening, if you want to have a session, a special session to learn about whatever you want, to, you want to learn about the faith, I'm here to organize a special set, special session on Saturdays whenever you want. But I want you to request it. I'm not going to initiate anything anymore. I will meet on Wednesday evenings with those who want to have a spiritual discussion and to learn more about God. Other than that, if you want more, I want you to ask for it. And I'll give it with my whole heart and with joy. Because we are called to grow and to become like Christ. If we want to withstand the storm and the darkness that's around us, we have to be strong within us, within our church community, and within our homes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
μεταδόξεις, κρίνε ζώντας νεκρούς ού της βασιλείας του έστε τέλος. Και εις το πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον των Ζωδιών, το έκου πατρός εκπορευόμενο, το συμπατρί και ιό συμπροσκυνούμενο και συμποξαζόμενο, το δαλίσαν διά των προφητών, εις μία Αγία Καθολική και Αποστολική Εκκλησία, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα της άφεσης να παρτιώ, προσδοκώ ανάσα συνεχρών και ζωή του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, Begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the conscious fire and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, who is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be a name, that we may present the holy offering in peace.
This is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is shed for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Remembering therefore this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the return of the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. We offer you your own, all of your own, in the devil's home, and for Come on. 
May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love always, now and forever and to the ages of
On Tuesday and Friday morning, they see our senior men will get together for the men's club at 10 a.m. And then God willing, we'll get together next Sunday at 8.45 a.m. for Matthews and at 10 a.m. for the Holy Liturgy. And instead of our regular agape next Sunday, we are going to have the volunteer appreciation branch. This, once again, I'm announcing that this is a branch paid for the church, given by the church. The food will be, the food will be provided by Cosmos. And uh, it is a way of the church to say thank you to all of us for volunteering, to all of us who volunteer in the last one months, in the, in the last while, to volunteer for our church. So please come, come with your children. You know, this is for all of us to rejoice and give thanks to God for giving us the time and the talent to volunteer for His church. Today's Agape is offered by Team 16, and uh, thank you very much, Team 16, for doing that. And I invite all of you to come now from the Generation of the Cross and to stay for our Agape and to receive the Alvidoro in the very respectful way in the palm. Remember, from last Sunday to Sunday before, and to start all the crumbs. It is getting better. It is getting much better. And I want to thank you very much for that. And uh, before I finish, I want to tell the singing group that if you can, please remain in the church because I need you for a very short meeting today, okay? It's all good. You sang beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> Eva is looking at me, Father, what's about? <laughs> yes. So we are going to have a, a, a brief meeting, but I want to thank you very much, you know, for, uh, and I want to thank you in front of everybody, you know, for leading the, sing the singing of the church. And by the grace of God, our singing is becoming more and more cohesive, more and more beautiful. God bless you and thank you very much. And once again, they are here to lead all of us in worshiping God. They are not here to entertain. They are here to praise the Lord together with you and lead you in praising God. Bless you very much and please come now for the veneration of the cross of the Lord.